Life expectancy in Japan is among the highest in the world. Japanese men live on average to 82 and women to 88. The secret to this longevity is to be found in everyday life. It's long been known that exercise is effective at maintaining health. Japan's Radio Taiso program dates back to 1928. This morning radio broadcast guides people through a system of calisthenic exercises set to music. The program is still immensely popular, with people of all ages gathering each morning to start their day by working out together. Exercising daily also makes people more aware of their health. I had an operation on my shoulder and it left me with a lot of pain. The arm swinging exercises got rid of the ache in my shoulders. Regular daily exercise within your personal ability is one sure key to good health. If you don't use your body, of course you'll start to get aches in your muscles and joints. Exercise done within the range where it doesn't cause pain is the best way to maintain health and functionality. Another thing about Japan is that most people here get a comprehensive annual health checkup. For a long time, Japanese companies have considered it their duty to provide health checks for their employees. Annual checkups are highly effective in spotting health problems before they become serious. Regular medical exams let us discover any problems while they're still at an early stage. This makes them far easier and quicker to treat. Daily exercise and catching illnesses early help keep people healthy. Just as important are Japanese eating habits. The traditional Japanese meal is said to consist of soup and three dishes. These are in addition to rice, of course. A main dish of fish or meat is accompanied by side dishes chosen from a wide range of healthy ingredients. And no Japanese meal would feel complete without miso soup, made from fermented soybeans. A typical Japanese meal is well balanced with all the nutrients our body needs. Ikeda Reiko, now 84, has long devoted herself to promoting the value of Japanese food culture. She's a firm believer in teaching children about nutritionally balanced meals, so they develop healthy eating habits. We must teach the new generation about our food traditions. Today's children need to know the benefits of the balanced approach to food that I was taught as a child. Most Japanese schools now have classes in nutrition and healthy eating habits called shoku iku. Ikeda, still vigorous in her 80s, attributes her good health to more than just diet though. The key is to have a goal in life, something you've set your heart on and will never stop trying to achieve. This will give purpose to your days and you will always stay motivated and full of energy. Many in Japan today can expect to live to over 100. But the most important thing is to be able to enjoy life right to the end. That's where having a goal helps. I think it's really important for every senior to have their own goals, their personal objectives. It's not enough to simply live long and stay healthy. We should also want to accomplish something that gives meaning to our time on Earth. More and more people are thinking this way. Staying healthy, active and motivated, the key to a long and fulfilling life.